So this is a video about the uh, digestion of proteins, the hydrolysis of large proteins um, into smaller amino acids which can be absorbed. There are a few different examples, a few different types of uh, enzymes that digest the proteins, that are involved in the digestion of proteins. So the first type of enzyme is endopeptidase. So these hydrolyzed peptide bonds it, towards the middle of the polypeptide chain. So we've got one large polypeptide here, endopeptidase is acted, broken peptide bonds, we've got three smaller polypeptides here. So endopeptidase, yet smaller polypeptides. The next type of enzyme is exopeptidase. So you can see here we've got the smaller chunks, um, sections of polypeptides from before. So the exopeptidases break the, so hydrolyze the peptide bond towards the ends of the polypeptide chains and they release dipeptides. So they break off the, the last two uh, amino acids, so they break off the dipeptides from each of the chunks and they'll keep doing that until you've got lots of uh, dipeptides. The advantage of the previous enzyme, the endopeptidase, is now because we've got three polypeptide chains, there are more ends. So it's kind of like increasing the surface area for the exopeptidases to work. The last enzyme in the step are the dipeptidases. So they hydrolyze the peptide bonds in a dipeptide, so splitting each of these uh, dipeptides into the individual amino acids, which are now small enough to be absorbed into the blood. So this is a flow diagram going through the digestion of proteins into the smaller polypeptides using the endopeptidase enzyme. So the endopeptidase hydrolyzes peptide bonds in the middle, towards the middle of the protein. Endopeptidases are produced in the stomach. The endopeptidases digest primarily uh, in the stomach. So they digest proteins into smaller polypeptides in the stomach. So the smaller polypeptides which have left the stomach are now digested into dipeptides by exopeptidase enzymes. So exopeptidase enzymes produced primarily by the pancreas. The exopeptidase enzymes hydrolyze the peptide bonds breaking off uh, dipeptides. And this occurs in the small intestine. Finally, the dipeptides are hydrolyzed, in, so the peptide bonds are broken by hydrolysis into amino acids, and it's the enzyme dipeptidase which does this. Similar to the enzymes that break maltose down into glucose, they are produced in the epithelium of the small intestine, and the digestion occurs on the membrane of the small intestine epithelium. So again, the dipeptidase is an enzyme that is bound in, found in the membrane of the epithelial cells in the small intestine. The amino acids then are small enough to be absorbed. So here is a summary for the digest of, of proteins. Proteins are hydrolyzed into smaller polypeptides by endopeptidase. Smaller polypeptides are hydrolyzed into dipeptides by exopeptidase. And dipeptides are hydrolyzed into amino acids by dipeptidase. The mark points for the absorption of glucose into the blood is very similar to that for absorption of glucose. It's the same principle. So sodium ions are actively transported out of the epithelial cell. This creates a low concentration of sodium ions inside the epithelial cells and maintains a low concentration inside the epithelial cells. So sodium ions want to move from the lumen of the small intestine into the epithelial cell down its concentration gradient. This brings amino acids with it, so they couple together, it brings amino acids with it against its concentration gradient through a co-transport protein. The amino acids now have a high concentration inside the epithelial cell and they move down their concentration gradient through channel proteins. So amino acids move into the blood by facilitated diffusion. We've got the mark points here for uh, the absorption of amino acids into the blood across an epithelial cell. So each mark point is separated by a semicolon.